starting with a simple circle, I'd like to show you how to draw two variations of a water drop. In the first one, we have straight lines coming into the top point just here. And in the second example, we have these arcs coming into the top point just here. Both are very easy to create, so let's jump in. I have a fresh file just here with just three simple circles. Quick side note if you don't know how to draw a circle, the rectangle tool just here, click and hold. There's the ellipse tool. Hold down the shift key, click and drag. With that selected, here in the properties panel, the fill, you can change the color, and the stroke, you can also change the color. If you want no color, or in other words, no stroke, just choose the white square with the red diagonal line through it. Okay, so let's delete that and get started. Now I'll keep this first circle just here as a reference. So let's jump over to this one just here. Now I want to be able to individually edit the anchor points that make up this path. So if I come up here and grab the direct selection tool, the keyboard shortcut is A. And if I click and drag over the top just here, I have managed to select just a single anchor point. Now I can easily grab that point and move it around like so. Let's undo that. Now, if I hold down the shift key while I am moving this, I can force it to stay on this vertical line just here. Another method is to use the up and down arrow keys. Now this is a very slow process. So if you are using the arrow keys, I encourage you to hold down the shift key and that will allow you to move that point around much more quickly. Now you can see that this is a smooth point, And by that, I mean, we have these nice arcs coming into the point just up here. What's actually creating that are these handles. And we'll explore that in a little bit more detail in our second example just over here. But for our first example just here, we basically want to get rid of these handles. And we can do that using a, another tool. Now under the pen tool just here, you can find the anchor point tool. Keyboard shortcut is Shift C. So with that selected, and I can see my point just here, if I just click and release on that point, it gets rid of those handles and turns this into a nice sharp corner. So the way this tool works, guys, is if you have a sharp corner, if you click, drag, and release, you will add handles. But if you just click and release, a point that had handles will now no longer have those handles. So at this point, guys, we can just come back to the direct selection tool. And with that point just selected like so, I can easily move that around. And there looks pretty good like so. So let's recreate that second example of mine. So like before, direct selection tool, we'll select that top point and let's move that up. Now, we want to be actually adjusting the handles in this situation. So with the direct selection tool still active, I can come up and actually start to grab these handles. Now this is looking great on this side. Obviously it's getting a little bit wonky over here. That's because when you adjust a handle in Illustrator by default, the other handle will symmetrically adjust as well. So I'll just undo that. So the way to break that symmetry is to hold down the Alt or the Option key while you grab the handle for the first time. So holding down Alt or Option, if I grab this handle and bring it down, check it out, I've now broken that symmetry. At this point, I can release the Alt or the Option key and just go and grab the other handle and make an adjustment like so. Now in this case, I might zoom in a little closer and now this isn't going to be perfectly symmetrical guys, but I'm basically just trying to roughly get these handles looking the same on either side of this imaginary vertical line through here. So that's looking pretty close at this point. So I might just uh, zoom back out. And at this point again, with the direct selection tool selected, grab that point, holding down my shift key, tapping my up and down arrow key to find a good point. And that's looking pretty good just there. So I might wrap things up just there, guys. I hope that gives you some good ideas on how you can create some water drops here inside of Illustrator. Catch you later.